Well, uh, we will always take into consideration the feelings of the people of Derry, and these feelings will be passed on to our GHQ in Dublin, you know. Martin McGuinness was not a terrorist. Martin McGuinness was a freedom fighter. We lived in a, a two-bedroom house, but there was nine of us, so that was overcrowded by today's standards. And we were always very conscious that uh, many other families were much worse off than we were. I became politicised because of the civil rights movement and what was happening on the streets. I threw stones, I threw petrol bombs. The riots sometimes were taking place uh, when I was at work. And uh, I would go to work and come home and change my clothes and go down and throw stones with the rest till the early hours of the morning. That happened right through the battle of the uh, the bauxite. Played a mother's role. the children and then trained the dog. And when time and that brought to our to our city, the uh, the British Army, the British Army came in not not to uh, not to save us from the excesses of the state, but to save the state from the uh, resistance of the people. I was twenty years of age, and I clearly made a judgment that the state was out to put the people down, and that if the people didn't stand up for themselves, nobody else was going to stand up for them. There was music. One of our intelligence units from the water side recorded these photographs from a UPF gun. Behind me, for I'd learned about life and I'd found a wife in the town I loved so I was always political. I was political when I was in 
at the IRA, but it was also political in that I you know, clearly recognised that if there was to be political change, then there had to be the emergence in the north of Ireland of uh, a political party. I nominate Martin McGuinness as Minister for Education. Once again, what's done is done, and what's won is won, and what's lost is lost and gone forever. I can only pray for a bright, brand new day. In the town I love so well. There will be no return to the status quo except on terms that are acceptable to Sinn Féin. The situation uh, that we've been dealing with in the course of recent years is unacceptable. I have now called a halt to DEP arrogance and if the DEP think in the aftermath of an election that they're going to step back into ministerial positions short of resolving the critical issues, some of which I have identified during the course of this conversation, then they're living in a fool's paradise. Freedom for everyone. Organise, mobilise, unite for your rights. And facing that challenge, we're stronger because of Martin. So don't mourn, celebrate, organize. That's what Martin would want. Slan Akara, Slan Gojo. We thank Martin McGuinness. He was a rebel, up the rebels. <laughs> <laughs>